Alonzo, and today's topic is does orgasmic living include falling apart? And to illustrate what I want to play with you today, I have brought out my pole dancing shoes. <laughs> And I'm super excited to share with you guys about this today. Um, I just got back from SK Live, which is a two-day pole dancing event with Sheila Kelly. And, you know, I fell apart. I'm not going to lie. Hi, Jean. I fell apart. And sometimes falling apart is more about the things that need to change in your life that you need to let go of so that you can actually have more and be more. And for me, this weekend, falling apart looked like a whole fucking shit ton of crying. Now, crying, sobbing, really, not gonna lie. There was a lot of sobbing. Uh, sobbing from the place of allowing my body to let go. I wasn't sobbing because of a particular story. I wasn't sobbing because there was a particular dramatic event or anything like that. I was just, my body, that's what she needed to do. And in that, I realized that there were a whole bunch of barriers that melted in my body and in my life. And now I have even more access to living orgasmically. I have, an even, I have even more access to the energy of joy and to pleasure in my life. And I have even more access to receiving energy. Uh, the big thing for me this weekend was about receiving energy from other people. It takes me a really, really long time to let people in. And it's just, you know, it just is what it is in these 10 seconds. And so all of that sobbing just opened the space for me to allow more people in. Now, let's go to my shoes. These beauties, I actually did a Facebook Live a while ago with these. These were the first boots that I ever bought and I loved them, and I loved them so much, now I want to try them on. So I got these because I needed shoes. You kind of, with pole dancing, you, there's just a gift that comes with, with boots and shoes and high heels, and there's actually an energy that gets activated when you put on shoes, an energy in your body, um, a sexual energy, especially when they're really high shoes. So, so I had these shoes for a long time and I love them and I dance and see they're hot. I'm not gonna lie. They're super comfortable. They create a lot of um, yumminess for my body. Like I love the sensation of having these sort of holes in here. But the thing about these shoes, like I wore the shit out of them. The thing about them is that they're falling apart. Um, they are right now like spreading all kinds of black yucky shit on my bed. And so I don't like that. <laughs> so these shoes, the lesson in these shoes is that change is constant and you have to be willing to let go of some things in your life to allow new things to show up. These aren't actual pole dancing shoes. They were just shoes that I found like at a DSW and I really liked them and I wore them, but sometimes they were slippery. They didn't really um, support me the way that I needed to be supported, the way that my body needed to be supported. And I liked them and they were fun. And then once they started kind of falling apart and there's all these little black things on my bed now, I was like, fuck it. I'm done with those shoes. I just like put them in the closet and that's that. And now I have to clean off my bed because I'm super OCD and there's crap all over my bed right now. Okay, so then, well then I need a new shoes. So I went on the hunt and I found these beauties. Oh my God. I just holding them gives me full body goosebumps. 
And I love these shoes. And I'm going to put these on too. I love them because they have this little slit on the back. And if I decide to wear socks, I can add a little bit of color if I feel like it, but I think that's like super sexy. Um, they're really high shoes, but there's a lot of support here. So when I wear these, these have actually become, I've been wearing these boots consistently a lot for a couple of years. So when I first put them on, it was a little nerve wracking and, and wobbly, but I committed to them because my body really likes them. And they, they serve me. They help me climb. They help me, um, I can writhe on the floor and kick my boots and they still look magnificent. Now, what I want you to do while I'm going through this, and I apologize, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, is that I want you to start looking at your life and where are the areas in your life where, you know, it's tattered, it doesn't actually support you anymore. It's falling apart and it's time to let go. The thing about these boots is that now I'm really comfortable in them. I'm super comfortable in them. I actually can do anything in these boots. I feel super safe and supported in these boots and I adore them and I love them and I will keep using them until they fall apart and then I will probably buy another pair because they're so awesome. And they've become my comfort zone. They've become where I'm comfortable and I'm not stretching myself. And I learned that when I put these shoes on the other day. <laughs> these shoes bring out the joy sparkly oh my god and like the inside they have this like yummy felt and I put my feet in or my hand and it just uh, I don't wear these that much see they got they got a little scuff there too I don't wear these that much um because I feel wobbly on them and I'm still using these but magic doesn't happen in your comfort zone. You have to be willing to stretch yourself. I'm not stretching myself right now in these. I can do anything in these. I can, like I said, I can climb, I can anything. With these, I'm like, ooh, I don't know. But when I first started using these, that was the same kind of sensation and I just kept at it. I kept going. I never gave up on myself in these shoes. And so now my body is asking me for, for something lighter and sparklier. Um, they're pink, but when the lights go down, they look kind of uh, red. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Jocelyn. Um, and I'm, I'm wobbly. It's bringing up new energies for me. And the lesson here is to lean in, lean into the discomfort, lean in to being wobbly, lean in to trying something new, lean in to committing to yourself and committing to that adventure because eventually you'll, you'll be able to do anything in that new place, anything. But if I keep putting these shoes away and I don't wear them, I'm not going to get good at these shoes. And my body really wants these shoes right now. So I'm going to play with these for a little while. I'm going to put those over here. Now, here's one. Okay, so I bought these shoes. These shoes did nothing for my body. They're, they're comfy. They're, you know, no. It's just a no. It's just a no. So why try to make it work? <laughs> you could actually apply this kind of to uh, relationships. I, th I don't know if I mentioned this a while ago. I was, I was dating a guy, amazing guy, super great guy, super sweet. Hi, Donna. Um, super sweet, amazing. And it was just a no. It was just a no. And so I was like, I'm sorry. It's just a no. And these are a no. They're not 
it, I'm not even gonna go there. Okay, the big surprise here that I actually want, this is, this is what inspired this conversation. This beautiful bag. <laughs> I get excited just even like holding them, okay? So here's the thing. I went with a friend of mine. I was accompanying her to buy a pair of shoes and offering my expertise on shoes. And these were just sitting there. Oh, there's more. There's always more. Ah, y'all, look at these shoes. Look at all the pretty colors. And these shoes, like, jumped off the shelf. And they were like, you. And I was like, yes. And they wanted to come home with me. And I, my, my, this is another shoe that my body just gets totally turned on just by holding it and looking at it. And it looks really pink on the screen because of the lights, but back here, it's a little more blue and a little more white. So these actually change color and everything. Okay, so these shoes, I mean, perfection, right? And I don't know if you can see, these are all like little crystals. And I put these shoes on once and they were amazing. And then I was like, oh no, I'm gonna mess them up. Cause I'm messy on the dance floor sometimes. As, you, as I showed you from my other shoes, my shoes get scuffed up, but these are so pretty. I don't want them to get scuffed up. So what I've done is I've kept them in the bag and I've just put them in my closet and sometimes I pull them out and I look at them and I put them on and I walk around in my apartment but I don't wanna mess them up because they're so perfect. But here's the thing, you guys. Perfection kills creation. Perfection kills creativity. Perfection stops you from growing. And I'd ask Kay live, but I, there was a girl that had these shoes and I went up to her and I was like, I have to ask you about your shoes. Do they get scuffed up easily? Like I have a pair, but I haven't been wearing them because I don't want them to get messed up. And she was like, girl, you gotta get out of your head with that. They are gonna get messed up. I was like, oh my God, they are gonna get messed up. So what is that thing in your life that you have just put on a shelf just to admire it from afar that you don't want to mess with too much because you think it's perfect just the way it is. That you just kind of look at it and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I mean, I'm receiving energy from the shoes. It's not like they're not being a contribution. But do you think they would be a greater contribution if I actually put them on and moved in them? I think that they would be. So I have a little table here and I'm gonna do something that I wasn't really planning, but it's kind of popping right now. So I'm just gonna mess them up a little. Oh my God, they're actually breaking my table. <laughs> so guess what? They're not as fucking fragile as I thought they were. They are withstanding so how does it get any better than that? They are literally not getting messed up at all. So all this time, I've been like afraid of putting these on because I didn't want to mess them up, but they are sturdier than I thought they were. So what are the things in your life, you guys, that need to change? Change is constant. Change is constant. We have to allow it into our lives. We have to be willing to let go of things. We have to be willing. In change, there is beauty. In change, there is opening. In change, there is um, orgasmic living. What are the things in your life that you're really comfortable with, that feel really good, that are, that are just like, that maybe need to be shaken up a little bit? Not a lot, it doesn't have to be a lot. I mean, all I'm gonna do is start wearing these shoes more, right? Comfortable in these, feeling safe in these, that's awesome. And 
What else can I add to my life? What else can I get more comfortable with? What else can I, can I expand in my life? I'm gonna try these. And where are you fucking trying to keep things perfect? Where have you decided? Right, I decided that these were gonna get totally messed up if I use them to dance. When I'm banging them on my table here and they, they kind of broke my table. So now I need a new table, how does it get better? Um, where have you decided, oh, they got a little bit here. But see, like I'm okay. I'm over it. I'm over it. It's like, I don't care whatever it takes for me to continue to invite orgasmic living into my life. What is it going to take for you to invite that orgasmic energy into your life? What do you need to let go of? What needs to change? What are the things that you can add to your life that'll bring that energy in? What are the things that you've decided are perfect and you don't want to touch them. But if you just allowed yourself to play with them a little bit more would actually create more for your life. You know, uh, magic happens outside of our decisions and our conclusions and our comfort zone. And don't we all just want a little more magic in our lives? And a, just a couple of words here on falling apart since that's kind of the topic. Um, falling apart can, there's such a wide spectrum of falling apart here. And what does that look like for you? For some people, small changes are big changes. For some people, you know, switching from one shoe to the other is enough to for things to fall apart and to shake up. And for some people, big, 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 big changes are required. You know, ending that relationship that you know is time, quitting that job that you know is not contributing to your life. And if you allow yourself to make those changes, then what are the surprises that the universe can offer you? Like me banging this on this table and this not getting messed up at all is a huge surprise that I would have never, now I'm gonna wear these next time I go to class and see what shows up, you know? Um, Cause who knows? Falling apart can look like allowing your body to sob and release whatever, whatever is stuck in there. Our body holds things in for us, our body, you know, we lock things into our body and sometimes that release needs to happen. And it can look however it needs to look like. Maybe it looks like a release of anger and resentment and rage. But here's the thing about living orgasmically, and I've talked about this in other shows, it includes all energies. And people have recently really been um, uh, acknowledging the level of joy that I have and I have to say that I have that much joy because I allow myself to have and be present with even more of like, whether it's sadness and sobbing or anger or resentment, like I allow my body to, to process those energies. I do it through movement, obviously. I do it through pole dancing. That's my thing. That's what I love. That's what a lot of women in the world are choosing. You cannot have the big, bright, light, joyful, pleasurable energies if you are not allowing yourself, if you are shutting down the, the darker, more judgeable energies like anger and rage and resentment and all of these energies need to be moved through the body so what does falling apart look like for you maybe you're falling apart right now maybe you could lean into falling apart and if you leaned into it like this was me leaning into my conclusion that i'm gonna mess these up so i can't wear them i mean I'm a little crazy, so I just had to bang them on the thing. You don't have to do it that way. But how can you lean in to what's happening in your life and, and, and allow yourself 
Maybe even push yourself a little bit sometimes to go beyond your comfort zones, your decisions, your conclusions, to go beyond so that you can have more. Thank you all for being here. I adore you. How does it get any better? I will see you next week and lean in. Lean in to everything. Say yes. Say yes to whatever it is that's showing up and see what gets created. Bye for now.